Hi, I'm Brenda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a very easy gluten-free cranberry blueberry bread. Fresh cranberries are not available during the summer. What I do is after the holidays, I go to the stores and I buy a whole bunch of bags of fresh cranberries and then I freeze them so I can use them throughout the year for different recipes. And this is all I have left. I'm looking forward to the fall coming so I can replenish my cranberry supply. So let's get started to make this bread. In a medium bowl, whisk together gluten-free flour, baking soda, baking powder, xanthan gum, and salt. In a stand-up mixer with a paddle, cream together, butter, and sugar. Now that the butter and the sugar have been creamed together, I'm going to add two eggs. Give that a good mix. Next, slowly add in some milk. And you want to mix this until it's combined. Have the mixer on low speed and slowly add all the flour a little bit at a time. And if you have to, scrape down the bowl. I'll show you what it looks like after it's all been blended. The batter is all mixed now. I forgot to mention that I also added some orange extract. Now I'm going to add the zest of one orange and just gently mix that in. I lightly toss the blueberries and cranberries in with just a little bit of gluten-free flour. Now I'm going to fold them into the batter using a rubber spatula to mix this in. In the meantime, my oven has been preheated to 375 degrees. After I folded in all the berries, I poured the batter into a 9x5 pan that I spray with cooking spray. Now the bread is ready to bake. The bread took about an hour and 20 minutes. I use a digital thermometer and insert it into the center. When it reaches an internal temperature of 210, the bread is done. I'm now going to cool it for five minutes and then I'll remove it to a wire rack. The bread easily came out of the loaf pan. I'm now going to let it completely cool on a wire rack before I slice it. Once I slice it, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I wish you guys could smell this bread. It has such a wonderful aroma. Here's the inside of the bread. It's extremely moist and you can see there's lots of berries in this. Let me give it a taste and I'll let you know what I think. This bread is delicious guys. I hope you'll give it a try. If you'd like a printed copy of this recipe, please visit my blog. The link is down below. Thanks for watching.